Here's just the wrap up of the 10 litre. Using the same straps, just sitting on the back end. Nice and secure, <laughs> easy as. Well, g'day guys, and welcome to another video. Today, we're just gonna look at the CV500X and my luggage setup for moto camping. Previously, I had Outback Moto Trek pannier racks on the back here, and Nelson rig, 27 litre bags either side and a 40 or 50 litre duffel bag on the back. You can see in this little clip here, a little bit more about that and a bit of the conundrum that I had and the reason I think why we're here now. G'day guys. Good morning. Hope you chaps are going well. I just thought, uh, you know, in prep for going camping, I'd put me stuff back on the bike and realise, holy crap. I've got nearly a hundred litres of storage. I think that's a bit too much. So as you can see from that clip there, she was just uh, too big and I had too much space in my opinion and for the camping style that I was looking for. I want to hit the tracks, want to be able to get through some tight spots when needed and sometimes, you know, you, you get into a few of those situations trying to fit through some trees uh, like my last trip and both the guys are pulling the trees open so I can get the big white end here through So that's where I am now. That's what's got me to this point So I'm pretty excited about getting this on the back here. The plan is to have it just sitting on this rear seat Having the mounts hidden in under the seat so it's ready to go on both sides Have that set up for my camping gear throw it on and away we go on top of that, I plan just to have a US 10. So the idea for this is just the extra bit of gear, maybe tools, uh, maybe just my food, just rain gear, something, just a little stuff that I might need uh, some quick access to, sitting on top of that 40 litre. But then the other idea too, is that I'll just run this as a day pack. You know, that's, um, I'll just have it sitting on the back, just with my tools, so, Heading into the city, I can lane filter. I'm not going to have any issues uh, with the width of my bags um, hanging out the side. Um, you know, I will just head into work, throw the laptop in it, just an extra bit of storage. So, US 40 rack pack, just do a quick opening, have a look. This is not a review, there's plenty of others on there. I mean, I don't think you need to really worry about a review on these things, they're bloody known for being a great product. So, in the bag, you get your little your straps, obviously, to tie down. The bag itself. The cool thing, though, about this thing is it's open at both ends and adjustable. So, I think it's 28 litres minimum up to 40 litres maximum. So, that's pretty good. So, we should be able to really tighten it in. Bring the, uh, the plan is to have it sitting across the bike this way and I can have it tighten in either end to keep that width, you know, don't, don't get it too large out there. So I'm now going to get down there, get my camping gear into this and uh, show you what it looks like on here. Right, back in a minute. So this is what I'm carrying at the moment. It's not a lot. I'm trying to keep my luggage down. I'm trying to... Uh, just run light. I really don't think I need the kitchen sink uh, when we're going camping, especially when it's only an overnighter, um, two nights max. But most time, usually just with family commitments and things like that, it's a quick overnighter. And we'd rather be out hitting the trails anyway. So this is the gear that I slimmed it down to. This bag, obviously just for some clothes, um, jocks, socks, that type of thing, you know, maybe a jumper in there if you're getting cool. But really, tent, chair, bit of a tarp, um, toiletries, wet weather gear, which I'm still not sure if I need to take that. Sleeping mat, mattress liner, not mattress liner, sleeping bag liner, sleeping bag, got a pillow, little pump, 
some cooking gear and take a tin of food. Usually that uh, does us because most time we hit a pub for lunch, um, grab some beers and that's it. We don't need much else. This is just uh, my tank bag, you know, first aid kit, toilet paper, you know, some little basics there. So let's get this into that US 40 and see how she goes. So here she is. Haven't got it fixed down yet. I've still got to pull the seat off. Have a look. I can show you that when I come back. But I've got everything in here other than my cooking gear, my food, a tin, tin of food. Um, so I've still got the 10 litre. So I've got plenty of space. This is literally all my camping gear. I've got the rain, um, the rain gear in there, which would replicate um, clothes, you know, for a change of clothes. Sometimes though, we, we don't even worry about it, you know, maybe just drop some socks and that's it. Um, you know, if you get cold, you wear your jacket. So, yeah, it's looking good. It's only just hanging over the back end, not even 100 mil either side, so that's pretty good. But when it's all on there, I'll give you a photo from the back end and, and show you that perspective there. So yeah, let's um, get this seat off and get the fixing points in, work out where that goes, and I'll come back and I'll show you once I'm done. Righto. Got the straps installed, looped around the subframe. So, got this cross member coming through here. I've wrapped it around that. Just hanging out the side at the start of the grab rail. This one just connected into through this cross member in this spot, came in. Now I've just tucked it around to hook up. So that way the pressure is not placing too much pressure onto the seat at the back here, but actually putting the pressure around the grab. So they sit there, all four, same positions, hanging out. I'll get the seat on, I'll get the bag on, and I'll give you a look. So here you have it. I've got the 40 litre on, 10 litre on top, and uh, it looks great. Looks like I've got a good uh, backrest here for the long highway trips so I can rest back on. Now you're probably thinking about a bit of the weight. I actually weighed all my camping gear uh, and sleeping gear. It's seven kilos, it's not a lot. If I put some food, like a tin of food, some water up here, I mean, that's only gonna be another couple of kilos. Um, so I'm not, I'm not even, you know, what worse, go to 15 kilos, double that seven kilos, 15 kilos in total. That's not a lot of weight for, you know, having on the back, considering, you know, you can have two up on these bikes. So seven kilos, say 15 kilos up on top here. I mean, I'm only about 75 kilos in weight myself. So really, that's that's pretty good. I don't think it's going to impact the bike too much. Um, you know, hitting the trails or anything like that. That's pretty good. I don't think it's going to be much different to having that big weight down the side. I mean, I had, what was it, over 100 litres uh, of storage, um, which, you know, when you got more storage, you put more stuff in, you know. That's, that's, that's what they say, and I found that to be true. So to have that on there, that's, that's, that's brilliant. It's nice and secure. I'll come in, I'll bring, bring it a bit closer and I'll just show you how these straps have worked uh, on the CB. So I'll show you that. So here's the bags on the back. Got the straps coming in from under the seat on the, these are the front straps. This Krieger bag connects to the loops on the 40. Beautiful, absolute quality gear. Absolutely stoked with it. Got this strap, as I said here, this strap's coming in from underneath the seat, but then wrapping in under this grab bar, just to give that little bit more secure there. You know, you don't need to tie these down massively, you know. All four points, it's pretty good. So yeah. And as we can see from the rear ends, it's not actually hanging out that far when you look at it from this perspective here. Well, thanks for watching guys. 
hope you got a bit out of this um, for the CB500X and this Krieger bags. Um, just a quick video showing you the snapshot uh, of how these bags fit. Going from the old penny of racks, having a big wide ass on the back there, putting too much gear on, to slimming it right down. And with this setup, I really think, you know, maybe a bit of water, water's probably what I've got to think about. But I can easily turn this around, have another 10 litre, have two 10 litres on here. You know, get the water down in low on that seat, in that bag, bring some of that stuff out in those other bags on top. So I could really expand, have more water and do some longer trips on this setup and wouldn't be too much larger at all. So I hope that's helped. Have a great one.